Welcome. In this session, we'll discuss the challenges many SAP customers face with regards to document management and related document-centric business processes, and how leveraging a Microsoft SharePoint or Office 365 solution with Gimel solves those challenges, delivering enterprise content management for SAP solutions at a lower cost with higher adoption and productivity and a very quick return on investment. The first challenge in SAP environments is the complexity of the user experience. SAP is not designed to support document management and collaboration. In order to go to a specific document, a user must first know the transaction code and then go to the corresponding transaction to find documents. There's no metadata associated with document lists. There's no ability to search for content. There's no hierarchical foldering or subfoldering uh, views of sets of documents. And in a lot of cases, such as plant maintenance, this may require the user to navigate to multiple transaction codes through 20 different SAP GUI screens and more than 40 mouse clicks to get a complete picture of the documents needed to support a process. In contrast, Microsoft SharePoint and Office 365 are very well suited for enterprise content management and collaboration. Process portals like Operational Excellence shown here can simplify the addition, monitoring, management, and access to relevant content in a timely fashion. Documents are enriched with data synchronized from SAP, which facilitates structured and faceted searching in addition to full text search and can be extended to provide actionable document based reports as shown here. With Microsoft and Gimel, accessibility, adoption, collaboration and productivity are all enhanced. The second challenge is that documents managed by SAP are siloed and isolated from the rest of the organization. Processes like human resources, contracts management, accounts payable, and others are primarily driven by documents. These documents have value outside of SAP, but are only accessible to SAP users. Adding a traditional ECM platform to support extended capabilities is typically complex and cost prohibitive. Adding Microsoft SharePoint or Office 365 as your SAP certified repository for documents now allows the entire enterprise to access and work with documents in a secure yet collaborative platform. By managing these documents as native SharePoint content, organizations can build comprehensive digital workplaces with native SharePoint capabilities and other Microsoft ecosystem products that is simply not possible with legacy ECM platforms, which are using stubbing or web parts as, as an integration strategy. Our customers leverage Microsoft SharePoint and Office 365 to deliver documents, data, and processes to the entire organization, as opposed to just the SAP user base. The third challenge is that building workflows in SAP applications is complex. SAP development resources are specialized and come in a premium compared to Microsoft development resources. Oftentimes there are competing SAP initiatives, which leave some departments waiting a very long time to realize the benefits of SAP. And given the mission critical nature of SAP, cycle times from development through test, QA, and production can be quite lengthy as well. Once your documents and associated metadata are in SharePoint or Office 365, however, your organization can quickly deploy forms and workflows through native SharePoint or applications like Nintex to deliver value to the organization with low code or no code solutions with point and click, drag and drop configuration, not customization. The vast Microsoft ecosystem of partner solutions opens up a non-proprietary option for solution development. Leveraging Gimel and Microsoft reduces complexity, cost, and time to value by delivering content, data, and processes on SharePoint and Office 365. Many times customers come to us having already invested in an archiving or ECM strategy with solutions like OpenText, FileNet, or Documentum. Unfortunately, these solutions often failed to deliver value proportionate to the rather large investments made. A point occurs when it's time to reassess these platforms whether it's the large annual maintenance bill, a needed but expensive upgrade, or a desire to move to a cloud or hybrid strategy, customers start to look at what else is available in the market. SharePoint and Office 365 are cloud and hybrid ready and often the first choice for these enterprises. Decommissioning these legacy systems into a modern ECM platform like Microsoft delivers a very short time to value. Typically, ROI can be achieved in less than one year by eliminating software maintenance cost and administrative overhead of these legacy systems. 
SharePoint and Office 365 meet the ECM needs today and the cloud and hybrid architectures of the future. HANA is the new proprietary database many SAP customers are moving to for its power and speed. As an in-memory database, the appliances required to support these databases can be quite expensive. As a result, SAP recommends any customer moving to HANA remove any data that doesn't have analytical value from the database. Historically, unstructured content or documents could be responsible to 30 to 40% of an SAP database size. Moving this content from a device that may cost hundreds or thousands of dollars per gigabyte to SharePoint or Office 365 for pennies on the dollar is an easy way to reduce the capital and operating costs of your move to HANA. Now that we understand the needs and benefits of delivering digital workspaces outside of SAP, let's look at the total cost of ownership and time to value of a traditional ECM strategy versus driving incremental value from the power of your existing SharePoint or Office 365 investment. In 2014, Gartner published a paper titled Actively Managing Your ECM Portfolio. This paper illustrates how a typical 1,000 user ECM system can cost over $4 million in the first year alone. High licensing, maintenance, and implementation costs drive a large upfront investment, which is often difficult to gain sponsorship for when compared to the competing priorities for IT in the business. Alternatively, adding SAP content management to a SharePoint or Office 365 content management strategy has a very low upfront cost. This approach leverages existing Microsoft licensing infrastructure and administration. In this example, a traditional SAP ECM strategy can cost more than 26 times a comparable SharePoint strategy in the first year alone. Savings in licensing, implementation, and the lower ongoing cost associated with leveraging your existing talent and infrastructure can save close to $6 million over five years. Let's take a look at some of the time to value factors that drive return on investment. When we discuss time to value, we should consider four factors. First, how long does it take from the time the project is approved to when the first live transaction hits the production system? Next, how long does it take to achieve tangible business value? Minimally, this will be when the first application is fully deployed and any legacy solution in that department is decommissioned. Next, when does the benefit exceed the cost? This is the key break-even point for the project. And lastly, when does the customer realize all the benefits that were considered when approving the business case? Considering these factors, let's compare the Gimmel Microsoft approach with an SAP extended ECM approach. With the Gimmel solution, our customers can be deployed in six to 12 weeks, and in some cases, as little as one to two weeks. An SAP extended ECM project will typically take six to 12 months. Our customers are typically operational in under three months. A SAP extended ECM project will typically take 12 months before a customer is fully onboarded with their first department. Our ROI is typically under a year. As we've seen in the previous example, the return on investment can take multiple years for an SAP extended ECM solution. And lastly, our customers realize their benefit immediately because they have a lower barrier to achieving additional value. Many ECM projects never achieve all the benefits that they've promised the organization. Let's take a look at how cost and time to value play out with regards to return on investment. Most CIOs and CFOs look for a rate of return on their investments, particularly multi-million dollar, multi-year programs. So let's assume an internal rate of return of 10% over five years is needed to approve the project. Most traditional ECM projects don't achieve any return in the first year due to long implementation timelines. So let's assume this project starts to deliver $750,000 in benefit in year two and an incremental $750,000 every year thereafter. With these numbers, the ECM project will take 57 months to break even. This is a very long return, fraught with risk every step of the way. Now let's look at the solution with Gimmel and Microsoft. We'll assume the same value in the first example, even though our customers are typically deployed in under 12 weeks as opposed to 12 months. With less than a $200,000 investment in year one and minimal incremental ongoing cost, the Gimmel Microsoft strategy delivers a very quick and impressive ROI. The internal rate of return is extraordinary, as is the net present value. We enable our customers to start small and drive continual incremental value, eliminating the financial barrier traditional ECM investments create. It's hard to imagine why any organization wouldn't try this approach before considering an alternative ECM for SAP solution strategy to Microsoft and Gimmel.